First of all, I'd like to thank Cedric, Marie, Ace, Dante for allowing me to come up here and honor CJ. Second, I need some of that Kool-Aid. <laughs> However you want to pay, pal, I got you. Whatever you need. There's nothing that I can say up here today that's going to take away the pain that all of us are feeling, are going to feel for a while. But I do want to share some things that might take a little bit of that hurt away. If you don't know me or if you do know me, you'll find out I am a man of faith. I can tell you four or five personal stories that you wouldn't be able to question if there is or is not a God. You would know there's a God. Uh, it would take time, and I will always share it with you, whether it's through Desert Storm, through playing ball, it didn't matter. My faith has never been questioned. I've argued with him. I don't understand some of the things he says. He laughs at me, and he tells me, don't worry, little man, I'll, I'll explain to you in my time. And I have felt that. Uh, for example, I took a boys' coordinator job down at school, and I didn't know, all my friends were asking me, why did you go to, to Lytle, Texas? I didn't know it. I said, I don't know. Two years later, a month ago, my wife and I adopted a daughter down there. It wasn't to coach baseball. It was to become a father again at my age. I just didn't know that that was God's plan at the time. I pray that I understand why I ended up where I'm at. But the example I want to use today is the example of CJ. So you can understand the first time I saw CJ, or I actually got to know what CJ was about, was in a baseball game. We're up five to four in the last inning. We're at the Field of Dreams in Houston. Runners at second and third, and this big old boy stands up, and he just lays a P-rod down left field line. And I dropped my head, and I thought, I said a word my mom wouldn't be very proud of. About that time, I looked up, and crowd's cheering, and the streak comes across the air like Superman flying. He catches the ball, and I look up, and, I'm, and it was CJ. Crowd's going crazy. I mean, go, ah, we win the trophy with the championship, and I hear some man who I admire and love and will love forever. And y'all know who it is. Not bad, but you need to take a better angle to that ball. <laughs> Almost unbelievable catch I've ever seen. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, those are things that make you all the way to the pros. And that, that's how I was introduced to CJ. And we all know what a great athlete he is, was and always will be. He's up in heaven right now, showing people how to do it the right way. But it's CJ the person that I want to use the example of. That's where the legend began, and the legend is going to continue as CJ the person. Some of you think that CJ was a great player because of maybe the genetic background he came from. Well, I'm going to tell you the secret was green M&Ms. Okay, he said green M&Ms is the reason I hit home runs and make straight A's. That's what he said. Now, I beg to differ because I can look at two people right there, and it was their faith in God. It was the way they raised that family. It was the accountability, which is a word that is lost on a lot of our generation today. It is those people right there. It's Grandpa, a man that I can't stop looking at without crying. The man means more to me than you can ever imagine. He is a man of faith, a man of strength, a man of wisdom who passed that along not only to Cedric, but to CJ, to Dante, and Ace. Even though we could say it's the Green and M&Ms, we know it was Cedric and Marie and that family, the most amazing family. But there's something that I want you to understand. A lot of people judge today. They judge kids. They judge each other. They bully, cyberbullying, all kinds of things. But a great man once said, I think some of you know it, a life is not important except for the impact it has on other lives, Jackie Robinson. Well, let me tell you about the impact CJ's had on some lives. Last night, I got about a billion text messages from my baseball team because I wasn't there to coach him. Going for first place in district. They knew where I had to be. They knew that what was more important than anything in the world was to be right here. 
and they're sending me videos. We're playing for CJ. They had all of the hats. Hashtag be like CJ. We're going to play the season for CJ. They don't know CJ. But that's the impact CJ had. They won eight to two. I had parents sending me things. How you doing? What's going on? They cared about me because they knew how I felt about CJ. CJ changed lives. As an educator, CJ educated us. He was the one that was doing a lot of the teaching. When we thought we were coaching, he was coaching us. He taught me how to be a better coach. He taught me how to relate to the one athlete that is so exceptional. How do you talk to that kind of athlete? What are you going to teach them that they don't already know? He taught me how to be able to relate to every athlete, every student. Last night, Shaquille O'Neal goes out there, Marie, throws a hashtag out there, says we're going to be like CJ's going to carry it on. This is a kid from the West Coast to the East Coast found a way to unite, to bring it together. You got a kid that played for Cedric and I. Great kid. Joe Orlowski worked with him in pitching. You know anything about baseball players. That number means everything. Well, I got to have my number. So much that when you go to the pros, you know, they talk about, hey, I'll pay you 100 grand for your number. It doesn't matter. We got a kid who's a senior getting ready to try to make it in the pros. He's been struggling at 88, 89, finally got up to 92 miles an hour. Has a senior year left. Coach, I want to change my number to 24. All his life, he's been one number. I want to change it to 24. Now it's not about making the pros. Now it's about a higher calling, honoring CJ. He's at Sam Houston State. He's one baseball player. Struck out the side against the University of Texas. Struck out the side against A&M. Two top Division I programs. But all he could think about was CJ. I want to change my number for him. That's the impact that young man has, will have, and continue to have on all of us. Our baseball team, when they were little, we had a superhero names for them. CJ was obviously the Flash. Makes a lot of sense. In this room today, we had the Thing, Aquaman, Iron Man. They're all sitting in here. Cedric and I were Superman and Batman. But if I had a chance to change CJ's name, I hope you can understand this. It's not to honor Dennis Martinez, but I call him El Presidente. Because I want to share something with you. God puts us all here to serve him and our purpose. Once our mission is completed, we are called to come home to heaven. CJ was able to complete his service to God sooner than we could ever imagine or experience. Though it hurts like no other pain you could ever think of to those of, us le to those of us left behind, CJ has made it to the place we all strive to be when our time comes. And the reason I tell you I changed his name to El Presidente, because in the history of this country, no man sitting in that office known as the President of the United States could ever accomplish what CJ accomplished within 14 years. You look around this room, CJ did not care about race, gender, religion, your political affiliation. He cared about none of that. He only cared about you as the person. In 14 years, you look around this room and you can see that CJ accomplished more in 14 years than no president has ever been able to accomplish in this country. That is greatness to me. That is a legacy. It will continue. If more people can sit there and do that, if our leaders can learn from him, this is what it's about. There is no hate in this room today. There is no hate. This room is filled with love. CJ was about love. This family is about love. There is no man that sat in that Oval Office for almost 250 years that did what a boy did in 14 years. That, to me, is something I will never, ever be able to wrap my head around. That's greatness. That's God's work. That's God's calling. Whether it was a short amount of time, it takes some of us longer. He did it in 14 years. 
that to me is a special, special tribute. The other thing that I want to bring up, and Cedric, you will completely understand this. Dante, you will understand this. Ace, you will eventually understand this. We sat out on the field one day. And I can remember Cedric telling these boys one day, we've all said it, there's a lot of pro athletes in here tonight. Pro athletes on TV who CJ has looked up to, and now we're looking up to him. Cedric said, the day comes with my tombstone. I don't care what my numbers are. I don't care how many home runs I hit. I don't want my accomplishments on there. What I want, what I desire is for them to write on my tombstone. He was the greatest teammate I ever had. If you don't think CJ is the greatest teammate we all ever had, I don't know what to tell you. He accomplished that goal, Cedric. He is the greatest teammate anybody has ever had and will continue to be. It might just be in a better place, but it is something that he listened, he heard words of wisdom from his parents, and he accomplished that goal. Dante and Ace, I look forward to your 30 by 30 story. I look forward to it one day when you both are sitting there with a microphone in front of your face as they talk about your greatness and your kind heartedness and how you've given back to the community. I look forward to you sit there and saying, well, I owe a lot of that to my brother. It was his memory that I continued to play in, that I continued to strive in, that I continued to be the best person I could be. Hashtag be like CJ. Hashtag be like Dante. Hashtag be like Ace. Hashtag be like a Harris. Be like a Harris and your life's gonna be pretty darn good. There's no doubt in my mind. Again, I couldn't take away the pain that's in this room, but I wanted to give you a little insight of how I saw about CJ, how I think a lot of people can see about CJ. It's easy to see it on videos that have been sent to the family, but when you can experience a young man's life that way and it changes you to be the best person you can be, I think our politicians today, I think the people throughout this world can learn a lesson from a young man who in 14 years achieved that most pink people will never be able to achieve, and that is his ability to unite every single person who knows him. No hate in here, nothing but love. I appreciate you letting me come up here and say that. I love y'all more than you can ever imagine, just like everybody else sitting in this room does. Dante, Ace, it's not gonna be once a month. We have you, man. We have your back. You must believe that. Everybody in this room does. Everybody. God is real, folks. He's real, I promise you. I don't understand why he's gone. But I will in his time, not mine. I will in his time. I appreciate you letting me have this moment, this time to share the stories about CJ. God bless every one of you in here, and God bless you. Y'all are truly the best. Thank you.